Well, I just spent two hours of my life and uh, more money than I care to admit in Genteel Company at Home Depot getting all this lumber for the next 12 chicken tractors. It was great. This is my buddy Martin. <laughs> He's very, very helpful. I said, hey, I'm sorry this has been such a hassle and so inconvenient. And you know what he said? He says, it's okay. I work by the hour. <laughs> Here's a good bit of chaos that I can explain. That nipple on the end there drips incessantly, which it's not supposed to do. It's like the one bad nipple. And so of course all the chicks congregate around it, then they get wet, and they make a mess, and it gets wet. And there's nasty, terrible scuzz and scum that is hazardous to their health that forms. So I thought, okay, what I'll do is put this bucket Okay, underneath it so it can catch the water as you can see it's been doing well this poor little guy this adventurous fellow decided to jump in the water which is hazardous to his health uh, so then I tried putting a, a little cage on top make sure that keeps him out but then they're crowding around jumping on top of the cage causing all kinds of ruckus long story short these birds are doing everything they can to thwart my efforts to keep them alive. It's awful. When you're starting from scratch, it's it's starting from scratch. <laughs> Get it? Chickens start. Uh, okay. When you're building from the ground up with uh, no prior experience, it's just constant. Constant, so. I don't know, constant course corrections because of the all the unknown and the, the chaos that can enter in from the sidelines. Just thought you might want to see the place where I come uh, when the when I've had enough of the heat, or to reward myself for uh, for getting some stuff done. It's the Sacramento River. It's also going to be the site of. Uh, where I get some office work done here in this chair. Oh, Washington! Woo! <clears throat> yeah, I, uh... <clears throat> yeah, so I've been working on these um, half-lap joints they're supposed to make my chicken tractor stronger. At least that's what the book says. That's what a carpenter buddy of mine, DJ, he confirms. <sighs> I don't know if I believe him. I mean, I believe him, but I don't know if it's worth the effort. This is terrible, working with this router. So, my router broke. And I need one more half lap joint. So. I'm using the old handsaw. Here's something you can't do with a curved blade saw. Good thing I opted for the straight blade. To sum it up, this is uh, much more difficult than I really anticipated. It's making me, you know, doubt whether I can really make it to the end. Um, but it reminds me of a couple things. First of all, I've been reading a book called The Saints and uh, just dealing with uh, early pioneers and their faith and fortitude. I got nothing on them. And the second thing is it reminds me of the Appalachian Trail. I remember on some of those hot, long days towards the middle, <laughs> and mostly towards the middle, yeah, I started to, in my mind, I, I literally wondered if Katahdin, or the end of the trail, I wondered if it was even a real place. You know, I, I thought to myself, it doesn't exist. But I think uh, experience has shown that um, our destinations do exist. And in this case, the, the destination is 
unadulterated food uh, and, and soil that is, that is healthy and robust and able to produce more nutrient dense, wholesome food and produce for me, my family, and my community. <laughs> That's it for this week. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode of Bet on the Farm. Oh, I almost forgot. Please like, comment, subscribe, and all that other stuff. Questions would be very welcome. Thanks again. Who wants to be on TV? <laughs> oh, you want to be on TV.